Happy November, Grace Point families. I wanted to hop on on our newsletter and just give you a little update about all things going on in the kids' wing. First of all, I wanted to continue to celebrate Lexi King's baptism, which took place at the last week in October, and you can go back and watch it on uh, our YouTube page, should have it up there. It'll be uh, from 1029, and actually, I'll see if I can link it in our newsletter too, because that would be so cool for you guys to be able to watch that as a family if you were not able to make it. So that was an awesome time celebrating her and her decision to follow Christ just earlier this year in August. And I wanted to encourage each of you, if your child takes time to pray with you and make that commitment to follow Christ, would you please just send me an email or stop me in the hallway? We would love to celebrate that with you, even if they're not ready for baptism, but we would just want to hear about it. And often kids save those special moments for at home with their parents, which I really am glad they do because you guys are the primary disciplers, and so you should have the honor of walking alongside them and making that decision. So if they make it, please email me or stop me in the hallway. We'd love to know and celebrate with you. This month in November, we will be continuing to learn about the Gospels, and across all ages, we will be learning about Jesus' death and resurrection. That's just where we are in our scope of the Bible, and it actually works out great because the week before Thanksgiving, we'll learn about Jesus' resurrection, and the week after Thanksgiving, we will have a special Thanksgiving time together where we can be thankful for what God has done for us on the cross and otherwise, and just spread thankfulness in general. And I hope you're enjoying Thanksgiving with your family. One small change during our second service, typically we have kindergarten through third grade all together, and then our kindergarten and first grade break off into a small group room on the left across the hall. We're going to be making a small change. We will still have kindergarten through third grade together for the lesson, but then only kindergarten will go across the hall, and first through third grade will break up into two or three small groups that will be multi-age leveled um, and consistent in the bigger classroom on the right. So if you have a first grader, you will no longer pick them up on the left. You will now pick them up on the right, and we'll make sure that our signs are adjusted so that you can understand where you're going and where you'll pick up from because I know it can be complicated to keep track of it all. This month, we also have a really exciting event. We have FUEL, which is our awesome family initiative, which is Families Unite, Engage, and Learn. And this month, we are actually doing a service project. So we'll be working with Operation Christmas Child. Joan has been setting up, and I think also Lynn Holmes has been working on that, to be able to set up just an awesome way for us to work all together to put together a whole bunch of boxes. And so if you haven't already, we would love for you to participate by ordering something off of our Amazon website wish list and then coming out on November 10th it will look a little different than our other fuels we'll be staying all together the entire time because we'll be doing this service project the entire time also one other reminder fuel is a great time to invite friends and neighbors and often families and kids are looking for opportunities to serve in November around Thanksgiving it can be really difficult to serve with kids at a food bank or at um a soup kitchen. And so this can be a great way to invite friends and family to a great service opportunity and the gospel will be shared. So we would love for you to invite them. That is on November 10th from 630 till 8 p.m. All ages are welcome. Babies all the way up through high schoolers. Lastly, we will not be having fuel in December because we will have one winter night. So we encourage you to come out to that. And we would love for you to serve at that. Right now we are collecting uh responses about serving and so you can find that in our normal GP news I'll probably link it in our newsletter too and I just wanted to give you a little heads up we do not have child care for this event if you're new to our church it's an awesome we the whole church gets decked out in Christmas and we just celebrate Christmas and it's really fun but we do not have child care so you're all together as a family and you can either choose to maybe have one one parent serve while the other watches the kids and then swap or vice versa or there's a few opportunities that elementary schoolers could also serve at with a parent. The parent would need to be very hands-on with the kid so that they can guide them and show them how to serve. But those opportunities would be serving in the kids' crafts area. Um, that would be a great place to especially if you have a really outgoing, friendly child, to encourage them to uh, talk to the different kids, tell them about our church, and welcome them, as well as passing out craft supplies. Being a bonfire, bonfire s'mores attendant, so 
There's currently the second shift available and you would hand out s'mores packets to guests who would roast marshmallows and put their s'mores together. Um, and our one of our preschool teachers is actually one of the coordinators. Then you could also be a bonfire runner. So this would just be being available to go back to the kitchen to get specific supplies or to get anything that is needed. Uh, one that would be high in demand might be the petting zoo attendant. So you would just greet people together and help people interact with the animals in an appropriate way. So making sure that everybody is uh, touching them appropriately, not trying to hold them, those kinds of things. And then also being a caroler. If you could, you and your child love to sing, you could be a part of one of the groups of car carolers. Lastly, two other more behind the scenes part, we would love everybody to pray. Taking time to pray during your family devotional time, Time, during dinner, whatever that may be, and talking to your kids about how this is a missions opportunity for outreach to our community. And then lastly, clean up. If your kid is able to carry things and help tidy up and clean up, they can help clean up. And we'll be doing that on Saturday morning, December 9th. We would love for you to sign up. You can do so at the link. All of our signups are online this year and we're just so excited. I can't believe it's Christmas, but I'm also super excited for the cold weather and Christmas to come. So I hope you have a great beginning of your November and just thankfulness all month long.